Right, we've got this uh, question here, 123 divided by 15. Now we know straight away that 123 is not in the 15 times table. So let's throw that in our calculator. Here we do one, two, three divided by 15, and we get the answer 8.2. Okay, now 8.2, that is the remainder two. Well, no, it's not two, to be honest. Okay, and we can prove that because what this is saying is that it's eight and a bit. That's the point two is the a bit. Okay, so if we could do eight lots of 15, eight times 15. Now, you might think that eight times 15 is not very easy. So why don't we do eight times 10 and eight times five? So eight times 10 is nice and easy, that's 80. Eight times five is 40. We add them up and we get 120. So eight lots of 15 is 120. So therefore, we need eight, and then the remainder is, well, 120 up to 123 is three. Okay, Marie, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus two x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.